Hey everyone, this is Matt Cromwell from Stellar WP, and this is Glam That Plugin. What are you doing if you can't have a little fun, right? Uh, welcome, welcome, and today I'm going to be glamming the README of a plugin uh, that I was recently introduced to from this Twitter post. Um, Igor Benik, uh, WordPress developer and all-around good guy, um, recently like bemoaned on Twitter that uh, simple giveaways dropped to 800 active installations on the WordPress plugin repository. Three months or so ago, it had 1,000 installs. So this, for him, hits really hard. And it does. Honestly, I feel really bad for Igor. And I was like, maybe I can be a little bit helpful um, and uh, resurface Glam That Plugin. So I decided um, we're going to start trying to use Glam That Plugin to glam up some readmes uh, and see how this goes. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. And first off, it always starts with tags. Tags are the central thing that uh, influences how you are found on WordPress.org, which also means how you are found on uh, Google as well. So uh, we, I always start with glamming tags. On WordPress.org, you only have five tags that you can focus on first. Um, that's a lot different than Google, of course, where you can put anything you want on your page to be found by. Uh, so we have to kind of do a two for one. Uh, focusing first on tags helps to make sure that you're found on .org, and it's also ideally something that's going to be useful for search engines as well. So um, let's go over to the simple giveaway plugin listing, and you can see here that Igor has these five tags, competition, contest, giveaway, sweepstake, and sweepstakes. So what I always do first is basically open up each of these individually in a new window and I look at the results. So this one is for competition. And you could see right here that Igor is not bad. Uh, it's uh, listed as number four. That's honestly a pretty good spot for the term competition. Let's go over to the next one, contest. Uh, for contest, uh, he's number five, also not too far behind. That's not bad overall. Then we go to giveaway. Uh, this one I think is really important uh, since that is really the core term for his plugin. And for some reason, embed a quiz on your site is a lot higher than Igor at the moment. Um, and I have a feeling that's mostly to do with the fact that uh, he uses giveaways in the title. Um, and right here, you can see in the short description, he says, create a simple giveaway or giveaways and grow your email list. I think that's his attempt to, to leverage that term uh, a lot better. Um, but I do think that for that term, you probably want it to be uh, in the title. And then we have sweepstake, uh, which I really do think in general, that's probably mostly a typo. Um, sweepstake is not really... Um, a term that's used particularly well. And you can see there's only two, two plugins total that are here. I have a feeling that that's not a very highly searched term overall. And then sweepstakes, though, we do have quite a few more folks here, uh, but it's only one page. So we should be able to find uh, plenty of folks, uh, plenty, plenty opportunity here. And you can see that raffle press is um, the one that shows up the highest here. Um, and um, they don't have that term in their title uh, or their short description. Um, but one thing I also always do is um, try to see um, who uh, what their competition does. So the competition for simple giveaways really is raffle press for the most part. Uh, this one down here looks really interesting too. This looks like a close comp competitor who might be catching up potentially, but not with the, that star rating. Uh, but it's worth looking at both of them, I would say. So Raffle Press has chosen very similar tags, competition, contests, giveaways, loyalty, and sweepstakes. Uh, I think there's a lot to learn here from the tags that Raffle Press chose. Um, I think contests probably is a pretty good one. Um, loyalty, I think, is an interesting one. And then you could see they don't choose sweepstake at all, but just sweepstakes. Um, so I think though that's really interesting to think about. You might want to think about the word contests. Let's look real quick at the results of contests here. 
um, run contests, raffles, giveaways. So this is another uh, competitor. Giveaways, surveys, also here. Woobox, that one is is a a competitor as well. Um, I believe they are actually a SaaS, and that's yeah, I believe so. And I think that's their their WordPress connector essentially. Interesting. So those are all worth looking at. And in this term contests right now, it doesn't look like Igor shows up at all. So we want to get simple giveaways probably showing up on this term. Um, and then sweep widget, um, they have in terms of terms, sweepstakes, raffle, giveaway, they also have contest and competition. So just by looking at the tags and competitors, I do think that contest is probably, or contests, let's see, what does contest look like? Hmm. Those results, honestly, are not quite as relevant. Uh, oh, but here, Igor does show up here. So, but I do think that this, see, because we have contests here in the title. Interesting. Contest as singular. But when it comes to contests, I feel like here's where raffle press shows up woo box this one this one these are all much more relevant um terms i might suggest contests instead of contest honestly so in that case um i would next go over here to moz um, i'm going to focus on moz i think serpstat is also really useful and helpful um but Moz is 100% free. Just sign up with an email. Uh, you definitely can uh, pay to get more features here as well. But their free tool is really useful. So I did online giveaway software as a term just because I think when I'm searching on Google, uh, I'm not going to think WordPress specific necessarily. So I, I often will use the term software when I'm looking for something like what Igor is offering. And when it comes to uh, monthly volume, you can see giveaway generator, free giveaway. That's interesting. Here's Woobox, which we saw on .org. Um, so they obviously have a lot of uh, branded search. Uh, so we know that this term is a good one for finding Woobox in particular. So that's helpful. Uh, random winner generator, sweepstakes. Here it is with plural, like I said. Rafflecopter is another big SaaS competitor as well. Sweepstakes websites, there's Woodbox, <laughs> uh, contest giveaway. That's an interesting one. Online contests, uh, prize drawing. These are all terms that actually have a bit more uh, monthly volume overall um, and are worth um, considering. Contest giveaways, that's a good one, actually. Contest giveaway contest. Let's look at let's look at giveaway contest. Um, Give away contest. Raffle press. Here we go. That's not bad. So Igor is doing good on that term uh, in in Google. And then if we just search um, Google directly, uh, give away contest. Let's say in this case. Uh, we're searching for giveaway contest WordPress plugin sponsored raffle presses uh, buying ads on that term. So that's actually a good indicator also. And then we get to wordpress.org. Look at this top result, simple giveaways. I, I mean, I am logged in here. Um, so, and I have been going to that page recently, but it's got a 4.7 rating. So uh, that's not bad. Um, then we have some listicles. And then next is Raffle Press down here as well. So, but it's a 3.9 rating. And that's kind of where Igor is winning right now, is a 4.7 instead of 3.9. So, in terms of Igor's tags right now, um, it's not bad overall. Like he's actually stacking up well against uh, Raffle Press as his biggest uh, .org competitor, I think. Um, I just think. The probably the best thing to do here is to not do sweepstake, but also but focus on sweepstakes more. Um, 
And we have contest, but we might want to consider one of these other terms that we found here, like online contests, maybe. Um, let's do one more quick search. Let's do online contests. Raffle Press is really showing up top in, in so many of these. Um, and this is another, that up and coming one. Um, and Igor's not showing up here at all. Uh, online contests. I might That might be my recommendation. Instead of sweepstake, maybe do online contest and then change this one to contests. So, um, but overall, in terms of the terms that you have here, um, you're doing pretty well both on .org and in, in Google. Uh, I think there's definitely ways where I would su suggest now, once we really, really dial in these tags, then we're going to implement these throughout the README a bit more. So, um, for example, I would definitely try to leverage several of these terms in this description here. Um, and I discuss in my article how this is how a lot of plugins can get very keyword stuffy. Uh, part of the reason why that happens is because the .org search isn't particularly smart about these things. Um, and the title itself uh, has a lot of weight in the search priority. So um, using some of these terms here would be good, like grow your business. Nobody's necessarily looking for grow your business when they're looking for simple giveaways, uh, in my mind. Um, email lists uh, is also probably not um, the, the, the biggest term that they're looking for your product in particular. They're probably really looking for contests, competition, giveaway, sweepstakes. You have the word giveaways here. Um, already. So maybe um, maybe we want to make this plural um, and then get uh, competition in this uh, in this thing or sweepstakes over here or contest or online contests, one of those terms, get those up here in this uh, title description. Um, I think that would be useful. And then of course, in your short description as well. So let's go over to the short description. Uh, not here. There we go. Uh, the short description is very short. And so, uh, especially when it shows up here. Um, so I would definitely um, try to use some of those terms in the short description as well. Optimize this for some of those terms as much as you can. And then the other thing that's missing a little bit is use of headings throughout the README. Uh, I don't see a lot of headings. These are bold, but they're not the same as headings. I definitely would recommend using headings. And then in every heading that you have, try to use some of your terms here as much as you can. Um, instead of overview, um, something like um, how uh, to leverage simple giveaways for competitions or uh, for sweepstakes something like that. Uh, very descriptive headings as much as possible. This is a good SEO uh, advice in general. Um, like actually, like the title of your YouTube video here, how to create giveaway with simple giveaways, how to create a giveaway. Um, that would be good for the heading instead of overview. Um, try to make every heading be unique um, and specific to your product as much as you can. Um, verified actions. I'm not sure what that what that means in the context here. Um, so being more descriptive about the benefit that people get here would be useful and helpful um, leveraging those things. So in a nutshell, that's uh, my advice on using your tags and leveraging them in your headings uh, and trying to improve your overall findability. That's the, the whole purpose of tags and headings and your title and all of that is being found. That's our first step here is being found. Then the next part about adopting uh, a plugin is not just being found, but being convinced to go from finding that plugin to actually clicking install and activate. Uh, and that's what most of the rest of this is all about is now that you're getting found more or less, are you actually convincing people that they want to use your plugin? Are you actually showing the value of what you have to offer? Um, and that's what the next steps are about. And the first one up is your creative assets. So creative assets are things like your, um, like your, 
banner and your icon when folks search either in uh, wordpress.org itself or in their WordPress admin in the plugins add new area, they're going to see you like this with an icon here. This is a nice icon. I like it. it it's sharp. It's clear. Uh, it really presents, um, it represents who you are pretty well. So I like it a lot. Um, the banner is also, I think, very clear and, and, and straightforward. Um, I like how it's essentially trying to sh highlight what a giveaway might look like on a website. I think that's a, a really good job overall. You do have some extra real estate here. I don't want to cram a, a banner with a whole bunch of flashy or whatever. Um, but in, in essence here, all it is is, is a background um, pattern uh, and then showcasing the, the, the product. You might move this um, screenshot basically over to the left a little bit and then do some highlights in terms of the feature set that you're your plugin offers. Use some words in the banner itself uh, to highlight things. Um, other creative assets are, of course, the video. And I think this video is good overall. I do think I would try to liven it up a little bit if possible. Uh, it looks a little bit outdated. It looks like it's a little bit old. So give it um, uh, a refresh and uh, showcase the new UI that you have going recently. I would also move the video up to be before the overview. So basically you have this, this big, nice introduction to what you can do and then follow that up directly with the video. Try to get that a little bit higher up uh, on the readme because I do think that folks who are more compelled by video, video is a great way to showcase your product and for people to see it immediately. Um, and that is really compelling and helpful. So get it higher up in the readme. Um, but, and also give it a nice thumbnail image. Make sure that um, you're showcasing what they're going to learn in this video. Having a really nice thumbnail uh, encourages clicks to play. Um, and so that's really important and helpful. Uh, the last one, not last one, second to last one is, of course, your screenshots. And here you really, really, really do well. These are really nice. Um, it's a little bit busy in terms of the background here and like... Uh, and um, I think we're looking at kind of like a generic background and then another background. Um, I don't think this photo is of a website or anything. This is like what your plugin looks like. I'd like to see this whole thing be like a website instead of this uh, generic background. Um, like here, for example, this looks a lot more clear. It's not a background and then another background. Here you have your background, uh, color, simple giveaways, giveaway shortcode block, and then the UI. And it's really sharp and clear. I think you did really good here. Uh, the only thing I would suggest is not having this uh, the, your icon overlaid with the, the, the word simple giveaways. It just gets a little crowded and busy. Like make the, either those that word solid um, and not opaque and move the icon over to the left maybe. Um, align that a little bit differently. But right now, the way it overlays here, it just feels uh, a bit busy. Um, but these are, are done really well. You're also leveraging the descriptions of the, of the image well. Here is a great opportunity um, to use any of your terms that you're trying to be found for is in, in, is in these uh, captions, essentially. So definitely do that. Um, but I like the consistency in which uh, you have this style. Uh, it's really good. Uh, we actually did this on GiveWP, a very similar method, uh, and we actually emulated it after WooCommerce. WooCommerce has really good screenshots, um, and I, I like this overall uh, effect, and I like the way in which you make the screenshots large. That's really helpful and important because these are actually small on the page overall, and if folks don't know what they're looking at, um, it's it's really hard for them to be to learn anything about your product if they don't see it well. Um, this one is pretty good. I might try to zoom in a little bit closer if you want to talk about the give giveaway edit page. Um, might try to zoom that in a little bit. There's a little bit too much going on here. Uh, same here. Might try to zoom in a bit more and give folks um, a better view. They, of course, can click. But what I really dislike about the .org uh, screenshots is when you click, it takes you to this other page. Um, of course, they can click and they can zoom in. And I'm sure people do do that. Um, but it does take them away from your page. Uh, and now, look, I'm back to the beginning again. Uh, so that's not super helpful. 
Um, so as much as possible, let's try to not encourage them to click and give them what they want right here as much as possible. The last one that I want to focus on in terms of creative assets is a very new one, um, and that is the, the live preview button. I really think the live preview button is a huge opportunity for, for free plugins uh, to highlight their, their, their plugin and let people actually get hands-on with it without having to install it on their website quite yet. Uh, like a long time ago, people were a lot more adventurous and would just install plugins on their website all the time and just try them out and throw them away and try them again and try a different one and throw it away. Folks are getting a lot more leery about that because they know like sometimes you install a plugin and it breaks your website. Uh, so they're a lot more hesitant to do that than they used to be, um, which is why the playground ends up being such a big opportunity. Um, I shared recently that you can now um, browse the plugin directory with um, um, uh, with any plugin that has the preview enabled. Um, so this uh, preview enabled plugins is a, a new category that you can browse on the on .org, and you could see how some folks have implemented it. Um, there was actually Sensei has done a really good job. Um, and they have the live preview button right here. And when you click into it, it'll take just a second to load. Um, so we'll do some elevator music. Do, 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 do. It doesn't take too long. And I do like it has a progress bar. Um, but it, depending on the plugin that's being installed and everything, it does take a little bit longer. Um, and maybe you lose folks in this waiting time, but the progress bar is helpful. So we're almost there, folks, almost there. <laughs> And nice, nice transition. See, and what I love about this is uh, they dropped you right into the um, the screen right away, uh, into the home screen that they have here, which is their onboarding. And it's baked right into the WordPress environment in a really slick way. Um, and when you click on, you know, you see that you're 25% through already. Uh, oh, this step is already done. Okay, well, I'll create my first course. When I click on that, it takes you straight into the Gutenberg editor where you can create a course. So, um, and here's a little pop-up and you get to do all that. So I'm getting really hands-on with Sensei, which honestly, I haven't played with Sensei in years and years and years. And this is a huge uh, change from what they used to be. Um, and I wouldn't have known that without the, the playground. So um, I think playground is a big opportunity for sure. Um, so leveraging that however you can, uh, in your simple giveaways would be really useful for sure. So between the header, the icon, we got some opportunity in the header, I think to improve icon is really sharp and good. Let's bring that YouTube up a little bit higher. Uh, let's clean up the screenshots a little bit more and leverage more of your tags in the captions as much as you can. And, um, and then get that playground live preview button going. That's essentially um, the most important stuff when it comes to creative assets. Uh, next step that we really need to focus on a bit more are the links in the README um, and where they take you and how you might actually get links to .org as well. So links. So in the... Um, in terms of links, the, uh, you want to be able to link to your website, of course. Um, and I always recommend using UTM's um, source medium campaign uh, in order to know which links in your README are actually working and where they're going. And generally speaking, don't you don't want to just link to your website. Uh, you want to link to an article on your website, or you want to link to documentation on your website, or maybe you want to link to a squeeze page that really shows the value of your pro product. Um, uh, different ways like that. All of these are opportunities that you have uh, to use .org as a funnel to get people to your website. Uh, and for sure, your website is a major way in which uh, free users will educate themselves on whether or not they trust your business uh, and they trust this product or not. 
so leveraging the website as much as possible is super important. Um, currently, right now, that I do see as the largest opportunity that uh, Igor has for simple giveaways. Right now, um, the buy Igor Benik uh, actually goes to Igor's personal website. So when you click on that, and th this is the first link that they encounter on .org here. Uh, when you go here, it takes you to Igor's homepage, which is a, a blog, uh, which has some really good reading overall. Um, but but uh, Simple Giveaways has its own website. Uh, but currently, I don't get to that website until I get all the way down here. And it's really just um, where you can share ideas um, about the website. This is not the best first experience with the website. We really want to get them at least to the homepage because this is not bad overall. This is clear. It's using your branding really well. Um, it's showing that there's a premium option. Uh, you're putting your value add right here up at the top. Uh, there's some there's some benefits here. I feel like it could use a bit of a modernization in terms of design overall, uh, but all the main ingredients are here. Um, so even when you go to examples, these are actually really good. Oh, well, that one's not. <laughs> we got a problem there. Uh, do we have a problem on all of these? That's unfortunate. Uh, we really should get uh, these examples working. That would be really important. Um, let's look at integrations. Mailchimp. This is a good one. This is a good page to be linking to. Uh, link to this page. Uh, you can, and it's sh linking, showing how that they, they can uh, download for free. That you're, you're taking them back to .org. I think that's totally fine. Uh, or you're pushing them to pricing here. That's really good as well. If we get these examples going, that would be really useful and helpful. Giveaway short code. Um, this is a little in your face, a little too much, I would say. Um, so it would be nice to make that a really much stronger example and also highlight um, the the short code attributes and what that what that does specifically uh, so that could be something worth linking to um, but not until it's cleaned up um, and of course these pages need to get fixed up for sure um, you have a blog here as well um, automator integration that would be worth in um, linking to how to run a raffle I would definitely link to that as well I believe um, you hopefully here are linking back to .org as well, because that's the other thing. This website should definitely be linking to your .org listing as much as you can. Um, just as much as we want to use the README here to link to your website, we also need your website linking back to .org as well. Um, whatever you can do to get them to actually click install and activate is what you need to do. So lots of opportunity here for adding more links. Um, and, and um, having them go to special pages, um, that would be really important uh, overall. Um, so in a nutshell, biggest opportunities are just continue to tweak those tags and titles. Um, overall placement seems to be good, but it looks like you can hone in on some terms that are not uh, leveraged particularly well at the moment, like online contests. That seems to be a good one that has a lot of volume, according to Moz. Let's focus in on that one a bit. We have some opportunity with the creative assets. Let's get a refresh of the YouTube video, uh, get it higher up on the page. Uh, and then we definitely need to get some really good links from the listing over to your website to validate. I also think, especially for simple giveaways, um, having a really good live preview would benefit the plugin a lot. Folks want to know what they're getting into with a plugin like this. What does it actually look like? What does it actually do? Uh, how can I configure it myself? Uh, and the live preview is the best way to leverage that for sure. So between all of those, I really hope that we'll see some really great improvement, both in terms of findability and uh, adoption of your free plugin, Igor. Thanks so much for this opportunity. And for everyone who's watching and made it this far, say a nice comment down below, hit the like button, all the things that make YouTube work and happy for us. Uh, and we'll see you next time on Glam That Plugin.